Hello again, I'm Rahana, and we are playing more of Gakko in Heaven 2. We are cruising along on Tomo's route here. Last time we talked to Professor Ito, Keita, and he gave Yuki something very interesting. It was a letter, an unopened letter, from Tomo's older brother, Now, It was actually entrusted to Kazuki, who was the director who made Now his successor. And um, he entrusted it in turn to Keita and told him uh, that Now's wish was for that letter to be given to a friend who seemed like he could help Tomo in his time of need. Yuki's decided to head up to the rooftop of the building to read it without anybody interrupting, overhearing. So, um, this video may not be super exciting because I'm basically just going to read you the letter, right? But there's some very interesting information in here, so I think it'll be worth it. Reveal a little more, a little more about now and Tomo and their relationship, and it's just sweet. It really is. So let's get started. Here is Yuki up on the rooftop, and he's thinking, "Okay, this is perfect. There's nobody here." And it's a letter from now. But is it really okay for me to read this? And I, I love this background music here. I really think if, if Spray was smart, they would make a music box and they would have it play this song. I love this song. This is how you know that you're probably going to get hit in the feels. And the letter starts with To you, who has become Tomo's friend. If you're reading this letter, you must have become my brother's friend. First, I need to thank you. Thank you for becoming my brother's friend. So it kind of shifts away from Yuki, and now we have now reading it himself. If you're reading this letter, I am probably no longer at the school. There were so many other things I wanted to do for the students. And this is really kind of sad how Nao was so aware of his impending death and he still was calm enough to write this, this letter for his brother and... Um, you know, take take time out when he should have been, you know, so so worried about himself and still to be so concerned about his little brother. But it seems that I only have time left to write this letter. So this is literally the last thing he ever did. And it's a shame that I can't meet you. I wanted to talk to both of you together. I've probably pressed a difficult duty onto my brother. And he will bear the burden of a big problem that he can't solve by himself. And up until now, he's been through so many hardships, and I think I'm a terrible brother for adding to them. But it's the only thing I can do because I don't have any time left. You may have already noticed, but my little brother takes everything upon himself. And I don't want him to sacrifice himself for others or for the responsibilities that he's been given. I want him to sacrifice himself for others. Because he's been trying to accomplish that by crushing his own desires. And 
And his, his too gentle nature makes him do that. But I think that's bad. And if it's possible, I want you to help my brother who's worrying all alone. I want you to be his ally so he can realize his own heart's desire. And I'm sorry for forcing such a selfish wish on you, but I have no other path left but to impose on your goodwill. Do ka, waga ototo no koto o Please take care of my brother. Please continue to be friends with him. Tomo no Aniori. From Tomo's brother. Zuishin. Saigo ni mo hitotsu. And there's one more thing. But we don't get to see that one more little thing. That will be revealed in time also. Naoni irashi te gami da. Yasashi tokoro. And this letter is very, very like now. He's he's all um, you know, so so kind, so gentle. It's just the same as before when I knew him. I wish I could have met him one more time. I understand. I will definitely help Tomo. That's right. This, it's no good like this. I need to I need to to help him. I need to to give him strength. Not just for everyone at the school, but for Tomo and for now too. The school absolutely can't be allowed to disappear. Alright, I'm gonna do it. And he's back in his room and he's thinking, you know, I still don't know that much about Tomo. What happened in that time where I didn't see him? And this is a reminder that Keita said that the adoption, you know, be between Tomo and whatever his new family was, was dissolved half a year ago. Mm. But he doesn't know the detailed reason for why that happened. And when I moved away, maybe something happened to Tomo after he was adopted. And he might not want me to know about it, but... And he has an idea of how he can find it. I can check online. And he found a phone number. And so he introduces himself. And I'm sorry to ask something so awkward, but... So we'll, we'll stop there with, with Nyao's letter and... Whoever it was that Yuki called, we'll find out immediately afterward, though. See you next time.